slivered shards of splintered thought, falling to reform. Shattered light of whirring force illuminate the storm. We always find it really exciting when we've supported someone at an early stage and then you see them grow in their career and you see that be a bit of a launch pad for them. Uh, you kind of have known you've had an impact beyond that work that they produced and you were something that led to the next big thing they did. For me, the two that have actually gone on to national and international acclaim are Wildebeest and Wolf. They were two standout pieces that blew me away like and then I think the wonderful thing is going on and seeing those pieces change from that rawness of new breed and advancing on to three four years later seeing how they grow progress to fully fledged piece that basically got international acclaim we're really proud of the things that have come out of new breed for us that's really exciting that doesn't happen every time but even if it's not SDC who picks up one of the works out of Newbreed, just the very fact that they get that experience and will go and produce something else. Them having that on their CV really helps them get the next funding and the next gig. Quite soon after Wildebeest was in New Breed, already Raph was going, this has potentially got legs. Remaking it for the Rosalind Packer stage was really nice because it's such a big, big space. You can really create that kind of world floating in a void feeling, which is what I'd always kind of hoped for, for that piece. So you could have things kind of disappearing and reappearing and make it a bit more mysterious. We extended it a little bit, so there's a couple of the scenes that I built a little bit further together with the performers and for Luke that meant he could also like just really flesh out some of the sonic qualities of the, the builds and the density of all the different sounds. It's like we just had the time to actually kind of put all the detail in full 3D colour that we hadn't quite got to for New Breed, so it just got to have a little bit more of a expansion in all, all angles, but it was inherently the same work, it was just a little bit more expanded. Because we were working a lot around ideas of mechanical sounds and machines and things that were non-human, COGS was a good way to build in all the detail of lots of different parts, lots of different entities, so to give personality to different parts of a machine and then kind of going, it's not going to reach its full kind of potential or manifestation until all of those things lock in and it goes like the building a suspenseful moment 
of a machine coming together into full force and the arrival of that as a super entity is a little bit like the drop in the techno where you have the big build and then the drop and the crowd goes wild. Luke and I both love that sort of thing but we didn't want to do it in a techno music kind of a way. Internationally, I was lucky to get to travel a little bit with the company in the European leg of the international tour to have work of scale touring in Europe. That's sort of really special. The very first full length work I ever made in Europe um, was performed in the same theatre in Ljubljana as Wildebeest played in. So. Um, with probably 10 years in between. So that felt like a nice little full circle thing for me. Joining some dots for me on that was really, really great.